Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can customize any WordPress theme with the help of CSS. Sometimes the theme we're working with just doesn't give enough styling options. So you can be in control of the appearance of your website with just some CSS tweaks. And what I mean with appearance is anything from font size, letter spacing, colors, layouts, and how rounded the corners of your buttons are. And in WordPress, as the general style of your site is defined by a theme, to customize it, you can either edit the existing theme code or add additional CSS code. And of course, I'll show both ways. But before we start, remember to always back up your site if you make any changes. If you're not sure how to do that, I leave a link in the description uh, with a step-by-step -step tutorial. So now it's time for me to show you how to modify your theme with CSS. The first thing you have to do is go to your WordPress admin panel, go to Appearance and Theme Editor. This is where all the theme files are located. And I'm working with the Visual Composer starter theme at the moment, so let's, uh, let's edit that one. So the file that contains all the styling is the style CSS file. So let's locate that here on the right. And here we go. So this is where all the CSS code is located. And this is where we can add some extra stuff and move things around. But if you change anything here, the changes will be applied globally. So keep that in mind. For example, if you change the font size to paragraph, all paragraphs in your site will be changed to that exact font size. All right, now let me show you a real life example of what you can do, but don't close this. We'll need it in a second. So I've got a page here and let's say I want to change up the text for these veggies. The first thing to do, we have to understand what kind of text that is. If you are the creator of this page, you probably know what kind of text you added. But if you don't, there's we can do the quick uh, right click inspect move. So that's how that looks. And as we can see, that's the heading four and we'll be able to locate it in the style CSS sheet with the uh, H4 tag. So let's do exactly that. Let's go back and click on anywhere here on the code, Command F or Control F if you're using Windows. And let's search for the H4 tag. Let's see. So where we can add it. Oh, and as you can see, oh, lost it. This is where the style of the H for the for heading is located. And as we can see, the only thing is the font size. Let's say I want to change it up to 1.5 rem. And what we have to do now is update the file. If you want to learn more about CSS, I leave a link in the description with some tutorials and examples that you can use in the future. If you don't want to change your theme files, you can always add custom CSS to your site. And there are a couple of ways to do it. So first is through your WordPress dashboard. So you have to open the page that you want to customize and you do have to be logged in for this in your WordPress account. So, and here on top, you click on customize. This is where your theme has defined things that you can change around. So this is actually the thing that you should check before you change your theme files, um, because here you can see, you can actually set the size of fonts and everything, and you don't have to change anything in the code. So the thing that we want here is the additional CSS tab. This is where you can add, obviously, additional CSS. And the cool thing about this is that you can write down the CSS and you can see the changes instantly. So let's attack the H4 again. So let's say I um, don't know what to change. We can actually go back 
to the CSS tutorial site. And so here's the text tab. And let's say I want to change some spacing. Oh, for example, letter spacing. As you can see, you can write it like that. We can copy. Let's say we can actually copy this and change it to H4. Uh -huh. As you can see, the changes happen instantly. So just publish the page and uh, you're done with that. If by any chance you're using Visual Composer like I do to build my pages, um, you can add CSS instantly without leaving the editor. And to do that, simply go to settings and here in the drop down, choose custom CSS. And you can apply local and global CSS changes. So local meaning that these changes will apply only here. So what do you say if we attack those fruits and veggies again? So that's going to be H4, as you remember. And let's say font weight. Yeah, OK. Simply save the page and <laughs> that's about it. Now you should be fully capable to modify any WordPress theme to look just how you want it to. So thank you all for watching and see you on the next one.